just in such disbelief. How does it get any better? So our boat captain just called and he said he is out with a pod of orcas right now and asked if we could meet him at the dock early. <laughs> We're Jess and Miles. In 2019, we quit our jobs to pursue a dream of long-term travel around the world. After traveling for six months, we were brought back to the US due to COVID-19. We are now back on the road here in the United States, and we are really excited to be out on the Pacific Coast. We have been in Washington for the past couple of weeks, and today we're heading to one of the best places in North America to see wild orcas. We booked a whale watching tour on San Juan Island, but had no idea what the day would have in store for us. So we came down to the south end of the island to watch the sunrise by the lighthouse and we could hear a blowhole from a whale just off the coast and there's a whole pod of orcas right here on the edge of the island. Wow. I'm so excited. I cannot believe this. We're actually going on a whale watching tour later today. I mean, what? <laughs> This is amazing! <laughs> we came here for the sunrise at the lighthouse and it is being somehow upstaged by a whole pod of orcas. I'm chasing them around the corner. There they are. They're, they're, they're fishing. Oh my gosh. I am just in such disbelief. How does it get any better? We're so spoiled now. <laughs> how, like, how do we keep going? Let's just go back to the ferry. I know, right? That's a wrap. <laughs> Let's get some coffee. We came out to San Juan Island today and we have a very full day planned that started here at the Cattle Point Lighthouse for sunrise. This is obviously a very beautiful setting, but we saw an entire pot of orcas swim by, which was the main reason we were coming to this island in the first place. This day is off to the perfect start. The San Juan Islands are a group of nearly 200 islands between Vancouver and Seattle, and you can only access them by ferry. So it was a very early morning this morning. We were on the 5 a.m ferry and got here to San Juan Island at around 6. It was obviously well worth the early morning and I'm not sure how this day could get any better but there's a few more things we're going to explore on the south end of the island here this morning. And like perfectly shaped. That's wild. We're keeping this. All of the cup holders in our car are full of rocks. Oh, another one! <laughs> oh my god, look at this one! Look how round they are! I love you. We just came back to the parking lot and there is a fox hanging out right by our car. Not afraid of people. I think he's used to being fed. Hey there, guy. Okay? He's not shy. We've come just up the coast to the American camp. Back in the 1800s, the island's ownership was disputed between Great Britain and America. And as the story goes, there was a pig that got shot at one point and almost sparked a war between both countries. And so both countries had military camps set up on the island. So after 12 years, ownership was ceded to the Americans. But I will say, my T-Mobile service thinks we're in Canada, and I don't see an American flag hanging at the American camp, so maybe still disputed. So it says here that the 12-year joint military occupation proved peaceful and amicable for both nations. On withdrawal of the Royal Marines in 1872, when the United States was given title to the island, many of the American officers regretted their British friend's departure. That was pretty cool, but Jess did say that the British camp <laughs> is a little bit more fancy. They've got a garden. Maybe we'll see that later. Just down the road from the American camp is South Beach, so we have made one last stop here before we head back to Friday Harbor. It's finally time for coffee.
Like I mentioned this morning, our main reason for coming to the San Juan Islands was for the chance to see whales. And obviously we got so lucky this morning at sunrise to be able to see that pod of orcas. But we also have booked a three hour whale watching tour for this afternoon. And we booked through the Spirit of Orcas is the company name. There are a ton of company options here on the island, but we chose that one because it's a smaller boat. It's a max of six people. And we always like to go with smaller groups when we can on tours. So we are super excited. Oh my gosh. There's obviously no guarantees that we'll see any more whales, but either way, we're really looking forward to a great afternoon out on the water. I wanna see orcas and humpbacks and minkies and sea lions and bald eagles and what else? Let's throw in some dolphins. Yeah, why not? Maybe a shark or two. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting very greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just take another pot of She's orcas. She's excited seeing rocks on a beach, so I don't think we can go wrong. Love beach treasure. <laughs> this has already been a fantastic day. It's not even 10 a.m. Okay, so our boat captain just called and he said he is out with a pot of orcas right now and asked if we could meet him at the dock early, so we're heading there now. How's everybody doing? Great. Great. How Excited are you? Excited after your call. I am glad I got a hold of everybody. <laughs> All right, come on aboard. Got a hand holding. Usually I'll share a bit about the whales, but I'm just going to jet over there to them and then I'll share once we get there. <laughs> Seems like more than eight. Holy cow. We got to these whales almost immediately after getting on the water and we've been following them for about the last 20 minutes. This is incredible. Oh wow. Than the other ones. Yeah, there's no mistaking it. Yeah, he said the whale's 26 feet the size of this boat. Bigger than this boat. They're so close. What? The sound is so cool. Moving now. just told us that they crossed over into Canada and we can't follow them over, so. I think we're done, but that was incredible. What an incredible afternoon. That was such an awesome experience. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was such a whirlwind in the beginning. Our boat captain just took us straight out about 20 minutes to the pod of orcas that he had just left. And then we followed along with them for probably an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. There were eight or so of them. Oh he said the biggest male was 26 feet long and the fin alone was six, six feet tall. Feet. It was crazy every time this thing yeah. came out of the water. Every single time it came out of the water, it would take your breath away because it just was 
so much bigger than all the other orcas. It was so cool. It really was. And we were really lucky that he picked us up early and yes. that all the other people on our boat were able to get there early too because they got into Canadian waters after we'd been watching them for about an hour and a half. Mm. And we couldn't follow them. We weren't allowed to follow yeah. them because of COVID. We weren't able to go into Canadian waters. So I feel very fortunate yes. that we were able to get out on the water early yeah. and get to them as early as we did. Mm. But it didn't end there. He took us all around the islands. We got to see all kinds of different wildlife. The harbor seals. They are known as uh, orca sausages around here. <laughs> Bunch of different deer, a ram I think it was, yeah. a bald eagle. It's like a sea safari. That was so awesome. And we're not done. No, we're not. It's only two o'clock. Next up, we are heading to the west side of the island. We've just come over to Lime Kiln Point State Park, which is supposed to be one of the best places on earth to whale watch from land. We definitely feel like we've already seen our fair share of whales today, so we're not trying to be greedy, but we are here for a picnic. If we did see whales again though, I'm not gonna be mad about it. Also, we most definitely brought our pie that we bought yesterday on Whidbey Island for our picnic. <laughs> How was lunch? It's a bit heavy, digesting the pie at the moment. <laughs> Lunch was cheese and pie. Two of my favorite things. This park also happens to have a really cool lighthouse. Well, no whales at the point. We had actually overheard somebody saying it had been over 10 days since they had seen a whale there, which makes us feel that much more fortunate for how this morning went. And now it's time to head further north on the island. And our first stop here is the English camp. Jess was right, there is a garden. We just went all the way north to Roche Harbor to get some provisions and we asked a very friendly local up there about a possible spot for sunset and he recommended the San Juan County Park so we've just posted up here. Jess's three favorite things chapstick, hand sanitizer, and a cup full of rocks. You scared him. It's not food, buddy. It's, it's just rocks. Dude. I shall stay here. And it shall be called Jessica's Camp. <laughs> 